Today we're gonna make this heat map effect inspired from the Predator poster. So I basically tried to replicate the same exact heat map. Of course, mine came out with a lot of contrast and uh, it's not as a retro looking as this one, but I also can make it a little bit more retro looking uh, similar to this one. So let's do this. So I'm gonna go with this model as a reference. It looks really cool. Right click on the image. Convert a smart object. And now we're gonna go to the adjustment layer, scroll down, let's select the gradient map. And we're gonna click on reverse and click on the gradient. And now we're gonna switch up the colors. I gotta double click on the black and I gotta select a darker red, which is a little bit also more brownish. Something like this, click OK. And I gotta go somewhere here in the middle, a little bit to the left, click. And I gotta switch this up to orange. This is good, click OK. And I gotta add another one right next to the orange. And I gotta change this to a more toxic yellow. So this color is in between the yellow and the green and it's really bright. Click OK. Okay, next to it, I'm gonna add another one and this is going to be green, a more dirtier green and a lighter. I'm gonna click OK and next to it, I'm gonna go add another one and this is going to be a cyan, a bright cyan. Click OK and I'm gonna add right next to it another one like this and I'm gonna change it up to blue. I can also make this more lighter, something like this. Click OK and I'm gonna drag the white down. This actually looks really nice and what I'm gonna do is just select the sign, press and hold Alt, drag it to the right and click. So this is gonna make another copy. I'm gonna click OK and so far this is how it looks. It has a lot of contrast going on and in the example the contrast was reduced. It was kind of a more retro vibe. So what I'm gonna do is go to the image and let's go to the filter blur and we're gonna go with Gaussian blur. So the Gaussian blur is going to add more realism to this heat map. So if I increase it you can see basically it's gonna look exactly like you know in that predator example. I don't like it necessary so I'm gonna you know decrease it. I would go with some round three in this situation and click OK. Let's go to the filter, noise, add noise. Make sure to uncheck the monochrome and I'm gonna go with some around nine. Click OK. So with the noise you're gonna add some contrast back but it won't look like the original image. It will look like with less contrast actually. I mean this is how you make this predator heat map effect in Photoshop. Thanks for watching. <laughs>